We're okay. We're okay now. Okay, so yeah, we we're fighting the Void Fiddler, and then like a couple rounds go by, and the the aberrant watcher says he'll reverse or undo or make his geometries like make sense in the material plane or something like that. He reverses the thing, and then we got to attack it normally. And then everybody was happy that they had advantage on their attacks at the thing. Um, and after that, I think we killed it pretty quickly. Um, he kept leading us through the like pus mass thing. And eventually, I'm trying to remember where exactly we were. Oh, he tickled the pus mass. It was gross. He tickled the pus mass and then opened like a hidden door. Um, and he warned us that there would be, what was it called? A chichild or something? A, the, the okay. half, the what? Chelica. Chelica. Okay. I don't know why I was thinking that other word. I don't even know what that is. Um, Chelica. So, but the Chelica wasn't there and he was like, huh, that's surprising. So we went around the corner and we found the gothic mage aberrant thing and got a little surprise round and then started fighting it and Tonist got bigger and turned what turned green turn no he didn't turn green no um but he did turn liger into mjolnir effectively yeah, and that mage was very unhappy. Oh, the mage tried to dim door away. And uh, Rowan counterspelled him. That was Thank fun. You. Thank you, Rowan. Yeah. Um, so we killed the mage. I don't remember if anything else exciting happened during that fight. Um, Tonist kind of stole the show, I thought. Nah. Um... No, you, no, deservedly show, so, I think. That was pretty great. It was awesome. Yeah. It was freaking out. Take, take the props, man. Yeah. You, you were a DPS rage monster. It right? Awesome. It was so good. Um, and then, after the mage died, we went up the stairs, because we were in, like, a, a tower of sorts, and that's where the Chelica was. Oh! Yes, okay, sorry, I thought I had forgotten something, but I didn't. So that's where the Chelica was, and then Ambrose decided it would be a good idea to bring the armored monstrosity closer to himself, who has an AC of, I think, 13, is what he said. And then Ambrose got a stinger in the chest and took, I think, what was it, 80 or 90 points of damage in one turn? 70. It was... Uh, 70 was just the last hit. Oh. I thought. Um. It, anyway, he, he died. He spectacularly. died. Yeah, he, yeah, he fell pretty hard. And then Johnny got him with a, um, what's it called? Spare the dying. So he was stabilized. And then Rana was able to help, like, heal him back up. Um. And then Valis, I think, gave him the final heal. Valis did give him some healing but i don't think it got Mitchell. ambrose up it did oh. not yeah oh okay um why did i think he got ambrose up because we didn't we we forgot that we use like kind of a hybrid of 3.5 and 5e rules in terms of negative hit points and zeros oh okay. yeah um so even if you're healed while you're down it doesn't exactly put you back up to zero if you're stable Okay. Um, what else happened? Ambrose and Ballas had a fun moment of kicking and shooting the dead. The Chelica. The... Chelica, thank you. I can't re retain this word for some reason. Oh, but after, sorry, rewind. After it took out Ambrose and Johnny ran up to like put himself in between Ambrose and the Chelica, uh, Tonus turns around and goes, you're going to regret that. And I think crits the thing. I think I crit him twice. Twice! Yes. It, was it was beautiful. Amazing. It was... Like, yes. couldn't have written it better. It was so good. Um, yeah, so good. So that thing died then. Oh, I think Rana technically got the kill. <laughs> yeah, you did both times. <laughs> I 
that's okay. Yeah. Kill stealer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still and then, no. Um, then we go up the up the stairs, up the little spiral staircase platform thing, and find the orb that apparently is like powering the pus monster thing. And then Althea is able to get it loose with, I think, with her halberd. Yep. Um, and then it tumbles down falls down to the the bottom floor and then mask shows up and tries to demand it and ambrose starts giving mask lip and i was very scared for ambrose's life and so ambrose dim doors away with the ember (laughs) and mask just lets him go for some reason and then Rana turns to Rowan. They Dindor out and follow Ambrose. Then Mask Dindor's out and poor Althea and Johnny and the Watcher have to just like kind of walk through. Like As, as they, everything was kind of de- deteriorating. Yeah, they just have to find their way out. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh-huh. um, uh, we make sure that Mask does not get the Ember. Um, Rana pulls out a, a convincing what she thought was a convincing argument that if it was from the creation of the plane then it belongs to the elves and he said he would not mess with the elves anymore and so then he left well and, and he's and we've got a non-aggress treaty going on right yeah so he said he would you know keep honoring that and he left and then the void not void void watcher no the aberrant watcher we asked him a few more questions, and apparently he reports to Shebelith and Urrath. So that's so Shebelith is the one we've been kind of tangoing with a little bit, and Urrath is Ambrose's patron. Mm-hmm. Um, but, I mean, he doesn't necessarily report to them all the time, but he does feed them information when he feels like it, I guess. And so at that point, Rana was like, no, that's basically like having a spy in our party for these aberrant gods and we're not going to do that so we told him that he couldn't come with us and then he decided to fly after us anyway because we have the ember um anything else i think that was basically it we piled into the tank and we headed towards the spine of the last dragon for tonist's little side quest and and we we also had a little uh family chat and um Valis was saying, you know, he th- he thought he deserved a seat at the table. Ambrose stood up for him, and Johnny mm-hmm. relented. And said, "Okay, come mm-hmm. on in." And talking about um, how how the uh, the the watch the aberrant watcher guy thinks he thinks he knows all the answers, but uh, apparently doesn't. Mm-hmm. He was saying because he was saying that there was no cure whatsoever for the uh, for the blight, and we know. Uh, a group of uh, insectoid, uh, an insectoid race that has a way of staving off the uh, the effects. The it's not folk. a, yeah, the magic folk. It's not a hundred percent pure cure, but with normal treatments, it it is a restored, a restorative. Yes. Right, right. It at least helps address right the symptoms. Lady. Right. Right, right. Yeah. That's all I had for that one. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Anything else I forgot? I'm sure there's a lot I forgot, but that's what I remember. Okay, yeah. If no one else has anything they would like to add, then we shall start proper. The, well, the recap is the start, so I guess that's not back here. We already started proper. We'll continue proper. Mm-hmm. The engine begins to roll away in the direction of the forest eastward, and the Death Seer, who calls himself oh, that's Melkin, what he's called. I forgot. Begins to float, not too far off the ground, maybe a foot, and just sort of follow it. You would trundle away. I believe it was disgust and decided that you didn't want to try to stop him at this juncture just because of where you were in terms of resources. Yeah. So, allow him to 
follow, and he does so at keeping pace with the engine seemingly without trouble. The forest draws near, and after a few hours, you um, decide that you're going to take a, some sort of break and rest for the night. Hmm. Okay, so that's when Rowan and Rana would be um, Rowan would be studying the ember and Rana would be attempting to meditate with it. Sure. <clears throat> okay. Um, the travel that you have will take you partway into the forest um, just because of the size of the wagon, it does it isn't as easily accessible as just rolling along the open road. Uh, the game paths aren't exactly built for, or aren't exactly uh, traveled by gargantuan-sized deer <laughs> or boars that crush and break trees in their paths. So every so often you need to clear out some brush, or the engine itself can just roll through and break a sapling down if needed Does but it isn't as, as fast as it was on the open field would it be faster to go around is that is that an option I'm not sure what the math looks like um did I pin it I don't think I did no I didn't it's a little bit up on the general chat let me pin it real quick So you could go around. Um, it is a fairly long uh, north to south wooded oh. area in comparison. So mm. I mean, it might be longer, even though it's a, you know because of the distance, it might take longer, even though it's a faster going. Right. I guess we can just keep going through then. Fair enough. Unless anybody else has input. I was just curious. Yeah, no, no worries. Okay. <clears throat> just for clarity, are we in are we into the new day? Not yet. You okay. you're, you yeah, you you push through the the wood a little bit, but it is getting dark. Oh, okay, thank you. Um you know, whether it was whether it's the just the noise of the engine itself or um, something else. Nothing seems to bother you as you pass through the area. Uh, you prepare for the evening um, as said in the, the, I think it was in the general chat. Um, Valis invites uh, Ambrose outside to bivouac in the field. And Sorry, I'm just reviewing because I had a little bit for guff, but I want to skip that and come back to it later. Um, at one point near the middle-ish of the night, um, maybe a couple hours after you began your, your sleep, whoever's on watch can hear percussive instruments, like maracas and tambourines, sort of those handheld shaky type sounds drifting out from deeper in the forest. Not on the, the uh, sort of south of the game trail that you're on. Hmm. From the top of the battle wagon, say, say that Johnny's on, on watch when this happens, from the top sure. of the battle wagon, can, uh, can he see uh, lights or anything that would... Uh, give more clarity to what's going on over there uh, from the direction of the sound yeah it's it's quite dark um yeah if you're on the if you're taking watch on top then you would see just the light flickering of uh, illumination popping out of, of uh, the tree line um, you know with how woods are and you know lots of blockage from from the trees themselves mm -hmm. you can't see the source itself but you know that there's a light on in that direction 
and is it uh, is it stationary so there's not lights coming from multiple places like we're, we're not looking at being surrounded by yeah, a, I mean, war, a war band of mariachi players right yeah the the, okay. the, the maraca the maraca horde exactly uh, after after a minute or so you you can determine that it hasn't moved okay you know, it, again because you can't see it it's not easy to tell right away but mm-hmm. after some time you can make that a good determination that it's stationary live and let live at this point I will just listen to the music tap my foot and continue on with my watch fair enough okay morning dawns and doesn't seem to have been any disturbance in the night whatever it was making the sound doesn't come and say hello mm-hmm I'm um, going to. Go ahead. Uh, I was going to uh, long rest for everyone. Yeah, yeah, everyone. Oh it's yeah, we actually. Mm-hmm. All right, then I'm going to uh, roll my roll in bones for the divine inter- intervention. Hey, it worked. <laughs> I don't believe it worked. Well. Good so, job. that's a thing. <laughs> you remember what I was what I what I, what the daily prayer was for, right? Well, uh, vaguely. I mean, I know the the purpose of it. I just don't remember the exact request. Yeah. Uh the exact re- the exact request is to remove the the the, the brand and the bargain from Althea's soul. She was tricked into this. Uh, she she is a being of of, of good na- of good uh, an honorable nature. She was tricked into uh, tricked and deceived into this pact as she was trying to do the best thing for her friends and her and the people in her in her care and charge and she does not she is not deserving of this damnation and beseeching the manifest to make white make right what had been wronged so that's the gist of the prayer this is done Pretty much right in the middle of the, or as soon as uh, morning comes. Yeah, this is this is part of his morning ritual. For for now. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine moving forward, it won't be. Most likely, no. <laughs> Are you sure you got it? Did did you get it? <laughs> no, uh, and uh, now that I, this has actually worked, I can't use it again for seven days. Right. Okay. <clears throat> is this done within the battle wagon? Like uh, no. The, uh, outside, uh, then? Uh, uh, up on top, under under the sky. Okay. An angelic being appears in front of Johnny, clad head to toe in armor. And... Uh, brandishing a fiery sword looks upon him with uh, there's a, a sense of judgment and um, discerning uh, nature to its gaze mm-hmm. it speaks it says well, I don't I don't remember the count but it says that <laughs> you've uh, beseeched the manifest for this aid several times is this truly a time of great need my friend faces damnation is there a greater need removal you seek is a 
truly struck a bargain between two individuals of another faith, you would remove it? Have you considered the full ramifications? No, I have not. All I've considered is that my friend was tricked into a bargain not of her not, not of her understanding and is now beholden to a, an extra planar evil evil being how how is that right how how is that just and how can anyone who has the ability to try and intervene and help not do so I was given this directive should you take it upon yourself it shall be removed from the one you uh, speak of oh don't do it. Don't you dare. No. Johnny look, look, raises it, raises his eyes to, to meet the gaze of the angelic being, and he says, I'm no saint, and I cannot be a martyr. Your point is taken. I retract my request he looks a, he looks a little broken for by it perfect understanding of situations is often beyond the reach of mortals it's admirable that you would seek uh, what was the word um, to rectify a situation brought about by a pact made with less knowledge than desired. All right. Is there any? Is there any indicate? Is there any help you can give in? In how can how can Althea enact her own freedom? Is there a path we can take? Is there guidance you can give towards that? Is that... Are there not, are there not those of her faith that she could beseech? They are very far away. Because Johnny's instantly thinking of, of her homeland, not of the the, the, the local... Just, just yeah. the local shield. Yeah, he's not Clare thinking of that. He's... He's thinking. He's thinking her homeland. So yeah. I will right, we'll talk to her. Thank you for the input and the counsel given. It says nothing to that. Is there? anything I can do for my friends I we're, we're about to go into a major conflict with superior forces undead legion and I feel grossly unprepared for this is there any counsel any any help that can be given in that because that is a true need because that threatens the land the blight the the the, the curse of shebolith all of it is just that that is a that is a true need if you if you want something it, Johnny looks around for a second raises shrugs and says something bigger that I think would definitely qualify. The 
aid you seek can be found in restoring what was lost. What what was it that, that was lost? Right. Um, yeah. <laughs> that being, sorry, I'm uh, trying to, to just keep in mind this particular angel's disposition. Mm. Um, <clears throat> as it stands, the manifest creates does not wage war does not raise settlements or no but we armor we we are life we create i i am as this cleric i create tools for protection tools for war i'm a blacksmith how can i how can i bend my talents towards towards this end what more can I do to ready my to ready my friends my, my comrades for this battle fair enough I'm gonna send you a message through okay. discord thank you mostly because for whatever reason my laptop isn't pulling up my email bummer and this is something that I well it, it comes up on my tablet it's very strange hmm and yeah okay um, yeah, uh, Johnny's flooded with a sense of just divine uh, purpose and well-being, mm. power. So send that I out. Feel, I feel good. I got it. I'll take a look. <laughs> it says, "If you wish to do more, then the faith is as it is." You must branch out and become that. Could you repeat that one more time, please? Yes. Uh, if you wish, if you wish to be more, you must branch out and be more than the faith is. Okay. Um. Huh. Not sure how much you remember, but. In the history of uh, the Manifest, it is said that uh, essentially there was a wider portfolio under under their purview. They've more or less uh, shaved off those domains and become just a god of the forge. Mm. So it's time well, to do some time, time to do some research. Yeah. Okay. So the message the, the angels giving Johnny is more or less: if you want uh, to be a cleric wielding, you know, the powers of war, then you have to that's not something that's within the faith as it is. Mm-hmm. Got it. It says I will I will think on this and I'll do it I'll do what I need to do to to get my team, my friends through this and myself. Thank you for your counsel. And of course, you get to you can keep your divine intervention for the week. You don't have to wait that seven days. That would be real mean. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I will. Uh, if if that's that, I got nothing else to really say to a divine being in glowy Check. armor in front of me, going, going. No, you can't have this, but try this instead. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to invite him in for coffee. Um, right, that's fair. Okay, then um, the last thing that it tells Johnny is our causes packs are often made with tenuous understanding of what is bargained. And so long as the uh, the the demons, what is it? Oh gosh, it's not followers, but legion are not the ones to take her soul. Then there will be no claim made upon her. 
Good to know. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah. And just to uh, parse that a little bit, basically, as long as it's not the demons killing and, and taking her, um, she's not actually under any threat there. Oh, good. Of course. Okay. Yeah. So if she dies from, like, a, I don't know, terrible snake monster. <laughs> <laughs> Taking an arrow to the knee. Right. Oh, no, that's... that. You, you live from those. Sort of. I was going to say rocks fall. Yeah, you just become a city guard. The half-life, if anything. Yeah. <laughs> Great game. Wow. Okay. So, okay. Angel departs. Okay. Johnny's going to go back inside and looks a little, sh little, little shocky. Definitely um, dazed. And he uh, just going to uh, go to uh, f find Althea. Uh, where, where, where would where would Althea be? Early morning, uh, prepping after the rest. Right, because cause we haven't gotten underway yet, so she wouldn't she wouldn't be talking to Gwen yet, or Guana. Mm. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Guana. Oh my gosh. Wow. No. That's even worse. <laughs> yes, Guana. Or Guen. We can go back to that. Oh, all, right. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, Guen. Uh, Althea, I just had a very enlightening conversation without going into too much detail uh, I, I've been given it on good authority that provided that demon that tricked you into that pact provided neither it nor its followers are the ones to take you down then your soul should be should should be without claim by them He just kind of looks at you. She's she's very somber. She's obviously very much involved in her own thoughts. Mm -hmm. um, she takes a moment to listen to what you've said and nods and says, Duly noted. Die someplace else. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. And she <laughs> turns around and goes about you know, continues about what she was doing she's she's really withdrawn all right uh johnny but, will... but she did she did her thank you to you was sincere okay johnny will just kind of stand there for a, a beat little non little non plus to, on top of everything else he's just gone through <laughs> and and uh go find somewhere else to exist inside the battle hoopty where yeah as we've got so much room yeah. yeah. There's three separate chambers. There's the, Did... the pilot room and dragon yeah, go... and there's the ballista housing and then there's the sort of I'm barriers. gonna go I'm gonna go keep Liger company up in the pilot compartment. <laughs> <laughs> well so come here often. Yeah. Hey there, wow. Pussycat. He's so Wow. <laughs> oh <laughs> like talking to a wall. No. <laughs> <laughs> Assuming no one else has any pressing needs early this morning um, just making breakfast and cleaning up thereafter uh, then you get underway pack up and start trundling along once more stopping occasionally to clear trees fallen logs things like that and at one point uh, maybe a couple hours into the day's travel um Notice that Stephen's just sort of sat against a wall of the the wagon, knees kind of up and just staring at the spot between his legs, uh, between his um, feet, sort of despondent. Oh, and the Death Seer uh, continues to float along behind. <laughs> this guy. Have we been working on teaching Stephen how to fight or not? Um, no, no one's made mention of anything like that. Um, he's mostly just been hanging about. Um, he'll, you know, join in and, you know, um, he just seems like a young dude that 
kind of got in over his head and um, became disillusioned when a one of his uh, what is it brethren under mass decided that the best course of action was to cast a fireball pointed at their own feet um, yeah that's that was most of what shook him out of the the idea that he should be continuing that course of action hmm. that he was on well <clears throat> I think I think with ex with available time, uh, Althea would probably look at him and look at Johnny and say, "We should probably teach this kid how to defend himself." Depending on what we're going into. Okay. Yeah, just some pointers. Point the crossbow this way, that sort of thing. Pointy <laughs> side goes toward the enemy. <laughs> Give him some some up close melee. Um, council yeah, like short sword and stuff more than happy to um to learn the basics and get some uh, technique down about midday uh you're not quite out of the tree line yet but it's I figure you're pretty close about midday you can see snow drifting down from the sky which is strange because it's Almost summer. summertime, yeah, and doubly so since there really shouldn't be snow in this region. You know, even when it's winter, it's rare. Okay. Uh, guess. Hmm. Oh, okay. Keep an eye out for whoever might be uh, any anything or anyone that might be responsible for snow. Well, I don't remember. Did they mention what kind of dragon was in this area? Oh yeah, Rana, do your dragon thing. If it's a snow dragon, My I dragon don't... thing. <laughs> yeah, if, it's a dragon thing uh... if it's an ice dragon, I got this. You get on all fours and then you uh, and you pretend you have wings. And you <laughs> breathe. And you go, rawr, rawr. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you asking me to sense if there are any dragons in the area? Do the dragon thing. Is it, it works for aberrations too, so it's not just the dragon thing. Can you specify it to be a dragon thing currently? Yes, sort yeah, of. Do that. Sort of. I mean, it'll tell me if there are any aberrations in the area too. Anyway, so she'll grab her bow and uh, do a little primeval sense. Because um, the bow also tells her... Actually, the bow has a wider radius, I believe, than primeval sense does. Specifically for dragons. Oh, that wasn't meant for you specifically. Let me... Well, Don't worry me? about it. Ignore me. Oh, you should have um, left. That okay. was funny. The... What's the range on the bow? Is it... It's like five miles. In... Yes. I gotta let my dog out of her effect. <laughs> yeah, I was Snog. thinking about that, too. The Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah. Yep. Um. Yeah, so five miles out, you... <laughs> No, nope, yeah, you don't get any sense of dragon anywhere within that radius. Okay. Um, Do it again in like fifteen minutes. Aberrations is one floating along behind the battle hoop. Yeah. Sounds about right. Is it actually snow or is it something else? You can stop the wagon to get out uh, and check. Dandruff. Ash. Gross. How could it be ash? It doesn't. It looks white like snow. I mean, some ash cold? is white as well, but it does. There is a slight chill to the air. It's colder than it was the day before. Um, as it hits the ground, uh, you can see it melt. So I guess that's a good indicator. 
Oh, okay. So it's not but gathering it's not on much. the ground. It's just falling. It's just precipitation. Yes. Weird. I'm going to stick my hand out the window and see if I can catch a couple of flakes because I want to see if it does anything funky. Yeah. Um, it. You know, it's not a heavy blanket, so you're able to... Uh, out there is able to, to catch a, a flake or, or two as it drifts down and again it just sort of hits hits her hand and I um, guess with Althea and the halberd it, it wouldn't melt right away you you're saying Althea's cold a little bit. no I'm saying the halberd's cold oh okay <laughs> so Althea would be able to examine it a little bit closer it just looks like a normal sort of snowfall where she grew up I don't think they got a whole lot of that no, no, even, I mean, it's not even that far north of where Althea grew up, and it, they don't see much here either. So, she's gonna look at the other members of the party and see, anybody know what snow really is supposed to do or look like? Uh, Johnny, I've got some up close and personal experience with it. Didn't we? We fought an ice dragon on the. To get your halberd, we've seen snow. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It was. It well, that's was, true. That's true. It was, it was on the, uh, the, the, ice, the ice plane of existence, yes. Right. <laughs> so, okay. So it looks right. Does it do anything or feel funny as it melts into my skin? Um. No, no. It just sort of melts down into to water. It's a little, you know, it's cold snow. Okay. Just making sure it's not, you know, acidic or spiritual or hinky right. in any way. <laughs> so I'm now a leopard. I don't know what happened. <laughs> nothing, nothing like that. Um, it, as far as anyone can tell, it's just normal snow. Well, normal in the sense that it is snow and not normal snow because it's summerish at this point. Take a detailed Winter analysis. Is coming. A detailed analysis of a couple of snowflakes. Do they look exactly the same? Uh, no. The, I mean, it's... This snow. is real snow. Yeah. <laughs> what? It could be clone snow. You don't know it. It's that snow they put on uh, ski slopes so that people can... Ski sh and they they can sh it. Yeah, shush down, down, downhill in 70 degree weather. Mm -hmm. uh, you continue your, your journey and uh, break out of the tree line onto a uh, sort of flattish plane. The plane um, goes out for a bit before it slopes down into this valley like area. And see, even from the tree line, you can see this, just, um, this massive skeletal structure on the plane in that depression. Um, buildings sort of dot the area around it, not too close. Um, you can see uh, those that were close have been reduced to rubble. And there's piles of stone and uh, mortar just um, in a ring uh, around this skeletal area. And uh, to the south, not much. Um, you know, trees continue on that the western side of the, that area and to the north you can see a small uh, village um, against the, the tree line sort of nestled in there hmm. the skeletal structure um, is sort of arced uh, its spinal column creates this sort of arced um, arch sorry not arched, sort of this haphazard arch over the, the grassland how are our stores in the battle wagon? Food, water, etc. Did we restock? Yeah, uh, I mean, sort of assumed that you would have known more or less how long you would take to get from Three Rivers to Shifnal and probably would have stocked up well enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so no need to stop at this little village place to restock? Not be no. fun, though. Could, Could be. Uh... Isn't this our destination? The, the whole spine thing? But... Where were we yeah. going? Yeah, we're trying yeah. to find artifacts, gnome gnome artifacts, I think, in the, the spine of the last dragon. Maybe the folks in the, maybe the folks in the town might have some information for us. 
could trade for some info. Just a thought. Yeah, Thomas would have been told that the um, they were special tools that were made um, by the the rune keepers and three. Well, not by them, but um, from their sort of line of work and uh, lost there at uh, their workshop near the spine. But uh, yeah. Do we have directions to the workshop? Like a, the approximate location of their workshop? Yeah, approximate location. Okay, so that's where we're heading. Tonist. Yes. Okay. Do we want to speak to the people who live close to this area to find out what dangers there might be before we just waltz in? Yeah. We can. <laughs> okay, so it seems like the pseudo consensus is to turn towards the village and go talk to them. Uh, did you mention what time of day is it currently? Um, it'd be just after midday. Oh, okay. You still have some light left in the day. Yeah, so rolling down into the the lower area, it's not like it's going to be pitch black within minutes. Yeah. And vice versa, going north. Um, it's not also not going to be that you would... Uh, not having enough time to then go to the uh, ruins and structures around that uh, skeletal structure. We'd also probably be less threatening to the villagers if we, if we rolled up in daylight. Yeah, yeah I'm sure they would appreciate us coming uh, now and later. Yeah. Okay, so you turn north, and I mean it's not that far, but you can see the the village. Um, so you turn north and uh, move the engine in that direction. Uh, as you get closer, you, it's a very small village. It's just a handful of buildings there. You arrive and and uh, debark and sort of look around the. Deathseer still floating nearby, just sort of watching the events unfold. And as you move in and, and take a look around, you notice that there seems to be an unusual amount of amputees in this area. People are either going around on um, like a crutch, and you can see one of their pant legs sort of been sewn up um, like a mid ankle or mid calf I should say uh, or people who are missing fingers or you know all, all the way up to the their elbow it, in fact looking around it doesn't look like anyone doesn't have some sort of uh, limb or uh, part of their body that's been removed huh they look at you with uh, uneasy glances and sort of shy away. Um, an older gentleman comes out. He's missing most of his left hand, only having uh, the forefinger and thumb remaining. And he approaches as you draw near to the village. Well, since missing I'm fingers up to the elbow. Yeah, missing their uh, part of their arm. I guess that'd be the better way to say it. Oh, fingers. Sometimes I, up to their elbow. I don't know. I think having missing your fingers up to the elbow is a pretty, pretty interesting way of saying that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so when as we get closer, I'm going to uh, open the top hatch on the driver's compartment that I'm where I'm still hanging out with Liger. Mm-hmm. Uh, and make sure that my helmet is off so he can see my face. And he'll, and he'll say, hello, we are uh, heading eventually over that way. He points towards the ruins, and we, we're hoping to get some 
uh, lo some local uh, lay of the local land from from uh, you and your, uh, your your friends here in the village. Can you help us? And it looks at the the amputees and says, "Can we help you?" And when he says that, he's he's got an open, you know, that that open, honest look of concern that Johnny tends to have on his face. Is there something we can do to help you and your your people? Oh, one second, I'm sending you a whisper. Okay. He says. Uh, no, we look after ourselves here, but if you go in that way, your like is not to die. Why would you say that, sir? By the way, my name is Johnny. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, Trembly, the sheriff. No, oh, good to meet you, Sheriff Trembly. Mm. So why would you say we're like is not to die? Actually, hold okay. on. If you would, uh, we'll we like to just stop and disembark, so we're not talking to you quite so far and and, and unfriendly. Like, I want to make sure that you know meet meet you on the same level, if you will. Okay. Um, so yeah, you take the, the time to, to properly ex exit and yes. approach him on foot. And I will mm -hmm. let everyone else let, let everyone else know. Okay, we get the. This is what I've seen. And I'm going to go talk to Sheriff Trembley. The guy's got a necklace with bone fragments on a string around his neck. This is kind of interesting. Um, just bones on a string, huh? I don't think that... I, I, I don't know. I, I got nothing. So, okay. So, um, anyone want to join me for this conversation? I wouldn't recommend all of us roll up on this the sheriff that might make him a little nervous but I don't know one more than one of me maybe Tonist yeah Tonist you want to come with me buddy sure alright cool so Tonist and I will head out there now I'll, I'll, uh, Sheriff Trembley this is this is my friend and, and uh, traveling for, uh, my traveling companion Tonist Tonist this is Sheriff Trembley he protects the folks of this village and says if we go that way we are like as not to die <laughs> Um, well, I'd be curious as to why he has that opinion. As would I, but I wanted to have this conversation, you know, face to face, on this, on this, on a level, if you will. It says, Mirdreen clothes kills everything that gets near it. Oh, I made Johnny say that up here. What's the <laughs> Mirdreen? Now, all of a sudden, uh, Johnny just yells out, Mirdereen! <laughs> huh? um, <laughs> anyone that's really grown up in, in uh, Gresha or, or has some uh, basic knowledge of the, the history, Mirdereen is the name of the, the dragon that died here, that, uh, that skeletal remains are of. It's kind of like, uh, like knowing the name uh, John Quincy Adams. You might not know much about him. You've heard the name. You I do live in Quincy, Illinois, which is situated in Adams County, Illinois. So yes. <laughs> yeah, see, there you go. Um, even if you're like, I don't know anything about the man's life, like, there's things that touch in history, and you can, you know the name, and you know that it's the name of the dragon that died. And he's telling you that Mirdreen kills everything that gets named. Indeed. Brings everything that comes near it to the grave with it. Sheriff, not not to be indelicate, but I noticed that folks around these parts are missing some parts. Is that something to do with Mirdween? Is it frostbite? Uh, he, it's not frostbite. He says that uh, we give so that we may have protection. 
Oh. Raiduine helps us as we help him. So, so the amputations are more like tribute. Gifts. Hmm. They're gifts. Okay. I see. Well. Um. Uh, I don't have much to say to that. Tonus, do you got anything? Okay, so like um, you look out. Oh, sorry. What it? What are you? Is it protection from Mirdreen? Ah, no. Just outside influence. You know, good harvests. Once a. Had a. What is it? So the, the, the tributes are separate from the dragon situation. Uh, it says. Tartnog. Uh, Point. It ain't no dragon anymore. Well, it's something else. So, being uh, re regardless, the, the tributes we're making are <laughs> separate from whatever Mirdreen is currently. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. When you look at the the skeletal structure out there, occasionally you can see arcs of lightning um, bounding over the the bones. It's my professional opinion that that's not supposed to be happening. Uh, Lich? Good, good call. Good call. Um, Lich, Lich Dragon? That'd be Dragon Liches do exist. They're um, not abundantly common. Well, that's a good thing, but maybe we've found one. It's worth looking into. Yes, I agree. Sheriff, thank you for the information. Appreciate it. Is there anything we can do in return for your, for, for your, your hospitality and your kindness here? Don't ask for much. Just... If you go there, you're just making it stronger. Right. Okay, thank you very much. Johnny will look at Tonus and say, Shall we on our way to go feed the Draco Lich? Ominously vague. Uh, lead the way. Alright, head back. Okay. Bundle back up into the wagon. Seal the hatch. Uh... Presumably, closing the hatch on um, the old Death Seer that's yep. wants to accompany. Yeah. Password wrong, clan. <laughs> clan. Is uh, it Kalamazoo? No. Damn it! No. Uh, it's in southwest Wisconsin. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, that's a strange password. Uh, we will. Relay the information that we've gotten from the, uh, the the sheriff to the rest of the team, um, and it's like uh, I have the the operational theory that that might be a ginormous immo immobile Draco Lich. Wait, what I are hope those I'm wrong. That makes uh... it stronger. Uh huh, and it's got lightning arcing across the bones. Um, hey Jacob, how much would Rana know about? Draco Liches. Draco Liches. I think that's... Or uh, any of us, for that matter. That right. does seem like a Rowan area of expertise. It does. What does Gaz have to say? Because it's bones. Gaz is not he is, here. He's in Three Rivers. Recovering oh. from his most recent uh, bone... <laughs> banquet. That sounds strange. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it sounds perfect, and I think he'd be disappointed to not be here. Oh, goodness. Agreed. Um, yeah, Draco, which is there. I mean, it's just a 
a dragon that decided that lichdom was uh, the best course of action created a a, a phylactery just as um, other liches might and in that trade-off gains considerable power that might not have had uh, otherwise um given good, what Ron good knows about how this dragon died does Draco does a Draco Lich seem likely? No. It shouldn't have been able to perform the necessary magical ritual. Okay. Then in that case, Rana will say that she is pretty sure it's not a Draco Lich. Oh good. Then explain the lightning. It it I was a mean, I can do lightning. <laughs> Maybe it's something else living inside the structure and just behaving in a way to frighten the locals so that, I mean, what can bring good harvests? Rotating the crops and uh, a good horticultural uh, background. Right, but in exchange for body parts, what does it... What would need that? Superstition. Fanaticism. No, I mean, what sort of being would need those things as, as like, food or um, well, materials right. for spells? Or, it might... I don't know. Oh, that's a good question. What, what might be... Oh. Okay. Uh, I hadn't thought about that. Rana just thinks it's superstition, that they just, they do it to appease a god that doesn't actually exist for a good harvest that may or may not come. No, she doesn't yeah, think uh, much of of the of what was relayed to her. But no, that raises a very good, very good question. What type of uh, su- supernatural being would need those things? Great question. Um, Arcana is not Johnny Strong's suit. If it was religion, he might have a, a shot at it, but no. Um, you just do a straight intelligence check. Alright, I'll give that. If you I'll, have the relevant skill, I'll apply the proficiency. I'll give that a shot. Um, yeah, lots of different. So. As bones, lots of different uh, undead needed, like hags or uh, ghouls, any sort of necrophage that eats the dead. Uh, let's see, there's. As far as. You might find some fey that would demand. Um, that sort of tribute that don't necessarily need the bones themselves, but are more uh, what was it focused on the that act of bargain. Um, necromancers, of course. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably that the the most prominent. Okay. Okay. So now let's cross reference that with lightning. Creators. Oh, do we know what kind of dragon this Blue. was before it? Rana knows it was uh, Blue. Yes. Uh, uh, Blue. Okay, there's is, a lightning. Correct. There you go. Was that a breath way of saying it? But yeah, <laughs> Blue Dragon. Sorry. Yes, Rana knows that it was Blue. So there's the lightning. Still kind of confused about the snow. But uh, one of these elemental anomalies has been solved. Is is it? Yeah, it could just be residual magic um, from the dragon's death here. Um, yeah, you're is right. Is it still snowing? Um, let's see. That. It was. It snowed while you were still in the forest, and it was like a couple hours. No, it, it stopped while you were still in the, the trees. Okay. It would be an elevation thing. Interesting. Elevation? Like, yeah. all right. As far as the snow? No. Hmm. Well, 
I think we need to do a bit of scouting or information gathering. Yeah. I agree. Maybe let's head to the location that Tonus knows he needs to go. Because if we don't have to poke a bear, let's not. When do we ever not, though? Yeah, but if we don't have to, maybe let's not. I mean, we actually we actually go out of our way to find bears to poke. Let's I know, honest. I know. That's what I'm I'm suggesting that we don't yeah. do that this time. T Tonus' God. directions are that it's a a still standing structure uh, at the spine, but um, the the swath of land between the skeletal structure and those buildings that dot around it is about four or five hundred feet. So you see lots of rubble between, and then there's still standing structures on the outskirts. Okay, so we don't know which still standing structure it is? Uh, you know, it's in the, the the south um arc okay so should we just start checking those out and keep an eye out for anything that might be this creature sure i'm in seems fair to me As long as you don't make the guy dressed in full plate mail go near the uh, lightning, light, lightning, we're good. Oh, that was a question I had. Um, this is a question for a completely different time and place. But uh, do you have access to Mithril? Yes. Johnny? Hold hmm. on. Let me, let me check my let me check my uh, my inventory real quick. Or I, I had. Do I remember at one point we had a plate and access to mithril? Yeah, I, I I had mithril at one point in time. Let me check to see what I've got. Okay. Remaining. Uh, nope. I am out of mithril. I've got half a half an ingot of adamantine left. I think we may have had to give it up to somebody for something. Or no, didn't we use it for the illithid fight? Yeah, yeah, we did. No, we used it all. Rana still has those arrows. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, whatever. We'll figure that out later. That um, was why we had to make that deal with our cause, because we needed more mithril. Oops. So, yeah, we used it. We, we basically used it all. Yeah. Okay, well. Um, do we have a way to make Johnny... Less hard to see or hear. Le less hard to see? I could paint. Sorry, myself. harder paint. to see. Oh, <laughs> put a flag on him and like bells. Like a like a, a, a fully armored Morris dancer. <laughs> I don't know what the plan is, but it sounds like you're making Johnny a distraction. <laughs> I know. Wow. No, I mean, Althea's has got the same issue with the armor and the clankiness, so. <laughs> Yeah. I must stealth now. Shush! Clank, clank, clank. Shush! I mean, yeah, we could take off our armor. Well, wait, why, why but, do we need you know, to... AC, AC, of, AC of nothing doesn't help much. I'm standing in the back casting spells from now on. <laughs> I got lost. Why, why are we taking off armor? We're not. Oh, okay. Um, it's it's finding ways to be stealthy, correct? Yes. Oh, what do we need to be stealthy for? To not poke the bear. Oh, well, I mean... Eh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get close. Well, the, the idea is to not even, like, aggro the creature. So stealth might not even... I don't know if Jacob would even ask us to roll stealth checks, but if it's a concern, I can cast um, Pass Without Trace. Aha! Uh -huh. good one. Yes, that it is good. So I will do that if if we're thinking that extra precaution is a good idea. Oh, yeah, here's a clarification question. Is the building that we're going to in the middle of an open space a way to approach it uh, from a uh, shorter uh, distance on the other side of it. 
Yeah, there, there's um, uh, there's some structures dotted around, uh, as I mentioned. So it would, uh, if you're approaching the the building, it's not necessarily true that something at the skeletal structure would be able to see. Oh, gotcha. Um, if you're on foot, if you're in the engine, um, anything there is gonna know. Yeah, ah. we could bring the engine here. Okay, so maybe we don't take the engine then. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So just take the clicker and lock her up, and you'll yeah. be fine. <laughs> that's a sapphire gem that's been etched in. Yeah, the clicker. Magic. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah, you you press it, and the back door will open up slowly. Like a trunk. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna head there on foot, with the intention of um, or with the like pass without trace as a backup if needed. Um, if you think that you're being a little too rowdy. Can yeah, no, it doesn't look like pass without trace can be upcast to extend the duration. Is that accurate? I assume that if it's not listed, then it's accurate. Yeah, I'm not I'm not seeing it on my sheet, but I can't remember if I got to copy this. No, or... it doesn't. Up to an hour? Yeah, there's no. And there's Lame. No Does it look like it's an hour or like an hour walk? Just cast uh, it, it again. Yeah, it's, it's only about a half hour. Uh, Sorry, half mile away. Oh, okay. The skeletal structure. That's not going to take an hour. No, wait. The buildings, not the skeletal structure. Yeah, the buildings are about 500 feet or so from the skeletal structure. So uh, you're looking at... What's that, 2,000-ish feet away from the village? And a time estimate would be? For that, um, like Average. walking there. The Average human walks six, through seven minutes. Oh, great. Okay. Then then I'll, I'll just cast path, Pass Without Trace as a precaution. Okay. While we're going. Not a bad idea. Just in general. Consume. Oh, we don't need to place the measured template. No, thank you. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Okay. Okay. All right. So you lock up the wagon. Um, Steven exits with you as though he's gonna continue and go with you, uh, as has been the case. Uh. And we should make it very clear that he follows at his own risk we, we'll, we'll ask him if he would rather stay in the tank oh Steven, they're talking about the, the Death Seer oh the Death Seer doesn't say anything, he just follows make it clear uh, to him that he follows at his own risk uh, Steven doesn't have to come, if he wants to stay in the tank he can stay in the tank He he's hesitant before you say that and he says do you think Mask knew we were here, where where we were because of me? Should I should I stay behind? <sighs> uh, well, I mean, Rana looks we're only going five hundred feet that way, so to, yeah, right. But to answer Stephen's question, um, Rana looks at Rowan and it says, "I'm not an expert, but it's likely that would be my best guess." Is that, yeah, Mask knows where we are because of you. He could just be scrying on us in general and not necessarily Steven. Steven probably makes it easier. Sure. Like, I don't know if Mask has um, the necessary components to scry on us without Steven. But Steven probably, at the very least, is just acting as a focal point. Probably scry and is there because scry is just visual, right? It's not. It doesn't include hearing. It does. I don't like everything. Oh, it like, does. Okay. Or there, I yeah. thought one. Okay. My bad. You're, you're thinking of a different spell, which is a uh, clairaudience slash clairvoyance, oh, which okay. is one or the other. Okay, gotcha. But that one's not a uh, targeting people. You just pick a place and drop a sensor right is this what's been bothering you steven are you worried that by staying with us you're endangering us from mask 
Maybe not. It says that if if you're in trouble and he knows because of me, then I mean you've been nothing but nice to me so far. I hate for something to happen just because I was there. And is that the only reason why he let me come in the, at all? Hmm, to keep tabs on us? Yeah. Well, the reason that we have you with us is so that we can get in touch with him quickly. If we need to, yeah. If we need to. So far, we haven't needed to, but... He swallows and says, I don't think you'll need to get in touch with him over there. Uh, no, I don't think so if, either, Stephen. You <laughs> if you want to, if you want to stay in the tank, stay in the tank. He nods and heads back into the tank. <laughs> Poor kid. Yeah. That, that that boy is in so deep. I feel I do feel. Maybe for Ambrose him. can can talk talk not talk. Nah, what am I trying to say? Maybe Ambrose can help. <laughs> he has some uh, has some experience with that. Being in too deep. With a cult, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I need a short bathroom break. Um, oh, good uh, idea. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, and Guff should be here in yes. five ish minutes yeah. anyway, so I figured it's a good time. Yeah. Okay. Bye, 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 everybody. Yep. We'll yeah. be back in five. Mm-hmm. Or through four 
myself, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, now I have this. Uh -oh, where did my glasses go? <laughs> well, I'm I'm doing a a um clothing fix mm. thing uh, with my with my hand time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. While while waiting for things to happen during just discussions and whatnot, when I don't have to be rolling dice, mm -hmm. and, uh, I require glasses for such things because my eyes are getting old. Yeah. Do be that way. Yep. I have returned it. Let's see. Why do we have sticky out events? I guess sound off, make sure everyone is back. Paul and I are both here. Off. Oh, cool. <laughs> uh, no, you're supposed to take a can of off, hold it next to the microphone, and spray. Oh no, don't do that. We don't have. Oh don't no, we actually, we do have off in the house. <laughs> I think Tonus might be the only one who's not here. I mean, Ambrose yeah. still has No, I'm here. I'm just muted. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I was about to say that he's muted, so I didn't know. Okay, so you... Oh, for a second I thought I muted myself. So you uh, disembark, and Steven stays behind, walk up and begin to walk in the direction of the southern arc of buildings, looking for a two-level structure uh, that the gnomes describe. Uh, there's not a lot of two-story two, two, floor, uh, two story buildings, so it's kind of a, an easy um, search, and you only have a few buildings really to, to check. It's just going to each and making sure that it is or isn't the one that you're looking for. When you're still about 500 or so feet out from the building, so about a thousand feet from the, the skeleton. And the skeleton, this, this dragon's uh, remains are enormous. They've got to be 200, 250 feet long. Uh, it's, you know, it, it's bigger than any dragon you've heard of. And the, the skull itself looks like it could fit a cottage inside of its mouth. The wings splay out um, pretty far from the, the skeleton. Uh, so when you're about a thousand feet out or so, the, there's a gathering of dark clouds overhead. Um, they're gray and full and begin to rain down on everything in the, the area. Um, How quickly did those clouds gather? 
very quickly. Um, it, as, Unnaturally yeah, quickly. Yes, as mentioned, um, you know, it, it snowed briefly, and then it was it was fairly clear when you got out of the tree line and went to the village and spoke with Trembley, and um, it was, yeah, you know, occasional cloud, but this just seemed like, yeah, unnaturally quickly is the best way to describe it. Magically quickly mm. is fair. Um, it begins to rain, lightning begins to streak down, and strike at the ground between the buildings and the skeleton into that rubbled area that broken bits of stone and mortar but yeah. you can um yeah so oh, it's God. raining on you but it doesn't seem like the lightning is striking outside of that ring okay move up and inspect a couple of the, the two-story buildings before, before you find a structure that looks like the workshop. In front of it uh, sort of bisected by a tunnel that, that passes between two sides of the building. You can see uh, yeah, two stories, so windows in the top. Jacob? Yes? Can I interrupt really, really quickly? Probably. Um, as the weather starts, continues to behave wonky, Rana starts to look very, more and more worried. And as we enter the first building to check it, she pulls Johnny and Rowan aside um, and hands each of them one of the bells to put in their sacks. So... Rowan to take like she'll give Rowan Fie's bell to put in his haversack and then she'll give Johnny Mie's to put in the bag of holding just in case okay now, the haversack uh, I didn't want to pull this up to check but just making sure um, it has individual separate compartments correct yes Okay, so you can choose, like, all right, the skull's in that one, I'm putting this in. Correct. Here. Yeah, yep. he's okay. not putting it in the same one as the skull. That's Fair. good. I figured as much. Rana would appreciate that. Because <laughs> the alternative would have been, you open it up to put the bell in, and then the skull goes, ooh. And then you're like, nope, not doing that. And put it in another pouch. Pretty much, exactly. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Rana would definitely request that the skull not know about the bell. Right. I'm assuming that Althea is picking lightning, based on the current circumstance, with that protection from energy spell. Yeah, I haven't figured out who I want to put it on, though. <laughs> if I want to put it on myself or somebody else. Um, so yeah, so yeah, that's the, I didn't I didn't want to derail everything, but just in case it ends up being a set of angry elves. She would rather not have all three bells on her person. So yeah, that's it. Um, I forgot to make this... There we go. That should give you line of sight as though it were day, right? Everyone can see just still balls and things. Yep. Oh. Okay, cool. Um... Yeah, so as you look, uh, you can see that um, this one, which fits the description of the, that the gnomes gave you for the most part, except for the disrepair, um, is a two-story building with a, a tunnel uh, going underneath part of the, or in the middle, um, and it leads to a courtyard. Vines sort of choke the northern half of the, the front, uh, so here, uh, going all the way up to the top. And you can see windows dot that second floor. Um, a pair of doors lead into the building here. Part of the gates that go to that um, tunnel are, you know, one side is destroyed, the other side still in operation. And yeah. Wait, I'm sorry. So why can we see into this? What does this do? That is courtyard. Oh, it, okay. 
And this you can the see door is like broken. This door, yeah, you can see it right oh, there. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yep. Are you what doing does this that on do? yourself? That's a terrible question. Johnny? Too many, too many voices. What? Are you doing that on yourself? Absolutely. Okay, because you were the one I was thinking about doing it for. Nope. Nani. I'm good. Yeah, light, lightning. Yes. I do not have protection from energy prepared. Up to an hour. No, up. you're in front. Do it to yourself. If we go down, you have the greatest ability to heal the most of us. For so long. I have absorb elements, which is basically a miniature version of that. Yeah, the uh, the reaction spell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a good one. Oh, I have that. Um, in front of the building, in the, the sort of, um, like, it's about 25 to 30 feet out from the, the building itself, you can also see, and they're not on the map, but bodies of slain individuals. Huh. They look like they've been chewed on. Ooh. Tonus, do you bring us to the most interesting places, my friend? <laughs> I, I was not thanking you for it. <laughs> Jacob, how do I cast... Oh, do I do I need to target Rana in order to cast the spell on her? Protection from energy? Yeah. No, you just... I mean, we know. You told... You know, you're saying that you're casting it on her, and it happens. We don't need to, like, do it within the boundary um, software. Oh. I just cast it on her, so we'll see. Okay. Um, <laughs> Make sure that that didn't take up two spell slots, because it went into the chat. Oh, uh, the other one, no, the other one um, was uh, the info. I, I clicked on info, and that's what it did, and I'm like, well, that just tells me what it tells me if I open it up. So, okay. it was Fun. being done. Uh, oh, along the lines of tracking spell slots, um, just casting this for I, I've done this in the morning, is cast aid back on Johnny, oh. Althea, and um, Tonus. Okay. Um, and just as a quick reminder, you guys have 10 extra hit points to your max, added to your max. But make sure you don't like add 10 again from the last time. Uh, nope, yeah. I, start, I got him. I'm good. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's, a, there's a spot where you can add it to the max. Um, yeah. Keep it separate from your legitimate max. I don't know what to call it. Right, right. Your natural max? Yeah. I've got a temp and max, so... Mm -hmm. Just add it to the temp, presumably? No, add no, it to max. max. Oh. It is, it is different from temporary hit points. Okay. Ah! Okay. Barely in oh no! Right. right. So oh. now you also gain ten hit points to heal. Like you gain okay. the max and the ten. Got it. It's it's confusing. It's hard to explain. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So add it to one, then add it to the other. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And then for the just really quick for the flavor of that, you'll notice that she doesn't actually sing the chant. The chant you don't really hear Doe, which is her deity. That's not who she's chanting or singing to, praying to for that chant. It's actually the name that you hear is Taya. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Thank you. And the chants sound different as well to the two deities. When did you become polytheist? She... What? She... <laughs> the cord is a pantheon. No, this is the first time I've heard you not pray to Doe. That's all. Oh. Uh, she kind of blinks at that. She's like, I... yeah. Uh. I guess that's true. Yeah. It's all good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Move oh. forward. Then your uh, preparatories. Yeah. Uh, Althea gives 
gives Rana a slightly quizzical look and says, We'll talk later. Rana nods. Uh, no. Wait, no, no wait, wait, wait. <laughs> not again! No, 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 no. Rude. no. Rude. Right? <laughs> right? No. Wow. I, I actually did not mean to do that. <laughs> 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 no, no. The very first session, session Johnny was joined the the party. He did that. Uh -huh. He ran across that bridge to to the uh, to the keep where the tree was. He was just like, "Let's go!" And everybody's like, "Wait!" I remember, and I paid for my foolishness. <laughs> All right, so let's 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 go take this nice and slow. As you get closer, you see a shadow sort of go across one of the windows on the second floor. Oh, don't like that. It's not empty. We got companies. Um, can Rana sense any undead? Let's see, 60 feet. Yeah, probably not yet. If there are undead in there. Uh, yeah, there's some right. Huh? Oh, okay. Okay, so we've got undead in this, this, this area over here. Uh, do you do you let the let us know that? Yep, she says that out loud. All right, Johnny pulls out the uh, radiant ma mace of undead smashing. Cool. Hey, I have liger. I have a tool for this. Um, liger died. I don't know. It's like oh, <laughs> rip. He's he's been repurposed as a planter. He's been integrated. Oh no. That's the end of the light. Mm -hmm. There's also I... some on the left. Okay, she'll relay that as well. More undead here. Um, where's that humanoid slaying thing? Sword. Oh. Uh, Does hum Johnny humanoid has it. Oh. Human it wouldn't matter if they were undead. If they're humanoid, they're, they still take whatever the extra is, right? No, that is incorrect. Oh, well... That's <sighs> dumb. I don't know how it works either. <laughs> that's, that's totally dumb. Alright. Um, never mind. We'll relay it to uh, Wizards of the Coast. Yeah. <laughs> you, guys, you guys are dummy heads. Because... Oh, dang it, because we never updated my longsword to be the magic with the stuff and the things. What? <sighs> the Johnny magic. The, the... Anyway. The, the Johnny magic, yeah! The Johnny <laughs> magic with the stuff and the things. As Johnny falls on that door, I realize that it was locked, but it's been so long that the lock just sort of <laughs> breaks as Johnny pulls the, the door. Uh, Is that the Death Seer behind us? Yeah. I've never so seen this token or noticed this token before. Oh god, it doesn't look like a human anymore? Uh, I, I didn't want to find that token. Oh, okay, okay. It, it is still a human, but I wanted just to differentiate, make sure that you... Gotcha. Know okay. Um, Johnny opens the door, it's, it's sort of a, a front office sort of place. Um, there's a counter behind which is a the skeletal remains of a gnome. Um, on the ground next to him is a rather lovely looking shield encrusted with gems and still in excellent condition it radiates a sort of soft light Ooh. hey Jonas there are... something your size buddy. Hey. Um, I don't tend to like shields but I do like shiny things so. well, well I can always uh, pocket it in the bag and we can examine it later and see what we can make, it, make from it also, we are here to recover artifacts. It, it, this is an artifact. Yeah, you're for right. For them, so we don't get to pocket everything. <laughs> I gotta, I got, I, I gotta put it somewhere. And... Yeah, that's true. So we will pocket everything, yeah. but we might be returning most of it. That's Would fine. this be considered a ruin or a dungeon currently? A, a ruin. Uh, yes. You okay, are I'm going to invoke to... historical knowledge. Enter a ruin or dungeon. Uh, this, the original purpose of this building was a workshop for gnomes. 
Worked out for. Oh, okay, so this is gnome stuff. So it's all me size. Uh, I... the building that you're in right now is actually built to accommodate larger creatures. Um, you can see small chairs at this table, but there's also sort of a stack of bigger, uh, more human and like elven sized chairs near the table as well. So, yeah. So, question the shield that we just found, is it me sized or is it tonus sized? Um, it, it is gnome sized. That's what I, that's, that's kind of what I thought. Okay. Yeah, buckler for you. If, yeah, he'd be, 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 be a buckler. <laughs> If Johnny picks it up, it embiggens a bit and becomes oh, human size. Mm. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Cool. That's fancy. Uh, can I? Is it more than a century old? <laughs> yes. Can I ascertain its monetary value? Oh my gosh! <laughs> it is not an art object. Oh, it's pretty. It's art. <laughs> it is pretty. The art, of, the art of war. It is a magic shield. So, <laughs> I, I, oh, goodness. It's a magic shield. Is it better than my shield? After, shield? Is, is it better than the resilient shield I have? Sometimes. Depends on the application. Okay. Situationally better. Um... Oh. Once identified, you will discover that it grants uh, advantage on saving throws against spells. So, oh. that is very nice. As well as a plus what to AC? Uh, two. two. Regular shield, yeah. Regular shield bonus. What does the resilient shield do? One. What's this? What's the effect? No, the uh, the resilient it's... shield is an additional one, so it's what three. Yeah. It, oh, the it's a bonus just... to AC of plus one. Oh, I see. Okay. So is is resilient the plus one? So it's plus three overall. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Interesting. And, okay. And and I completely forgot about this. It has three charges to create a barrier akin to a wall of force. Oh wow. Uh, what? Why are you rolling initiative? I saw something enter the uh, the battle chat thing. Oh. <laughs> Great! <laughs> something entered, entered the combat tracker, huh? Oh my gosh. <clears throat> well, I was about to caution. There's a door here. I'm not going to click on it because we can open it if we're not next to it. So there's a door here, and it just looks like there's stairs. So if we go up the stairs, it'll probably teleport you somewhere up. That's where Johnny was headed. you upstairs. Right, so I wanted to make sure we didn't... I was interested split. in this door, yeah. So my next thing was going to be to, like, peek out that door. Or, like... For one roll initiative. Oh, okay. And Ambrose has come screaming across the field. I think that was him logging in, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. here. Yeah. I'm coming, guys. <clears throat> Dramatic entrance. What's up, bitches? Hey. <laughs> Yay! What's up, Slappy Pants? Car ride took uh, took a little bit longer than I thought because uh, you know foot of snow on the ground, but whatever. that's all. I'm hey, here. It was snowing in game. Oh hey, very briefly. So you are arcing perfectly. Tech. Yeah. I'm not late. I'm in character. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Rana realizes that the oh that's not what they should be called. I'll make sure that these guys are proper. Okay, whatever. Um, Rana realizes that there's undead coming down passageway and probably tells everyone ah. to be on alert, which is what the initiative was for. Okay, so. Ten, on alert. Five, ten. It's not her. Oh, I, I guess it is going to be Rana's turn first. Oh, it's not my turn? Well, I, I, I don't have initiative for my Ambrose, but I oh. assume that Rana will oh. go before him. Seems likely. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Okay, so then... Yeah, so she will shout that there's undead coming down the corridor. 5, 10, 15... As usual. Um, 20, 25, 30... Rana hmm. 
as she comes round and looks down the, the, the corridor, can see these ghoulish figures that are just, they're covered in runes. They seem to have had some sort of, uh, um, like, scarification uh, oh. in a runic form. They also uh, have, like, odd gems embedded in, in places on their, their bodies, so uh, they, they don't look to have any sort of order to them. You see, like, a, a small sapphire pushed in in one place and an emerald in another. Uh, jet black gems um, poked in at, like, the shoulder. But there's not a uniformity between the two uh, ghouls that you can see, nor does it seem like there's any sense of order uh, or categorization to how they've done it. Okay. Weird. That is weird. But they are ghouls? They look like ghouls. Okay. Uh, with those differences. Some sort of, yeah, right, so um, could into it some sort of augmentation that yeah. she wouldn't or, necessarily know yeah. about, but... They've done something to themselves. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll use my bonus action to use Ring of the Forge and then shoot this one. Uh, and the, the scarification, the runes uh, that they've carved into their own bodies, uh, some of them glow oddly. Yeah. Does that hit? Um, let me double check something real quick, and then we'll see. <clears throat> the fact that it's not an instant yes is concerning. It can well, be, yeah. But when he said some of the runes glow, yeah. I'm thinking, okay, so that just, like, turned that arrow into dust? Might have, yeah. yeah. It does hit. Okay. It's very it's concerned. Visible. That is not a lot of damage. That's great. These are matching a lot of Wait, two D characteristics. Plus three is six. I rolled a one and a two. Eight should have been eleven. What? Those D eights are a one and a seven. So one I rolled a one and a two. Oh. That's not what's showing up on my screen. Okay. Does the does the acid look like it does anything? Uh, yes. Yeah, it, it hurts. Okay. I'm just, then... I was trying to fix something. Oh, okay. Well, okay. So if uh, it looks I, like I'm, it hurts them, her. then I'll yeah. attack them again. Where's your 1d8 for your Colossus Slayer? Uh, it wasn't injured. So it oh, will oh. proc this time. Oh, okay. Got it. Ah, uh, what? Don't worry about it. I, I'm just I'm just trying to fix something. Okay, um, okay. Yeah, it's not healing in front of your eyes. Okay. It's got a little bit healing factor. <sighs> They're very resilient ghouls. Runic ghoul. 12.5 ghoul. Why is it... This is not... Oh, that's why, because I put its name as its initiative. That's fun. Mm. There we go. Alright. Uh, Valus will put a few... Shout out to fan favorite 12.15. <laughs> I come from a long line of 0.15s. Oh. <laughs> Valus puts a few bolts into the creature as well, and then it will be Rowan's go with Tonist on deck. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, Rowan will cast Chill Touch at the Ghoul. So cold. <laughs> yep. Necrotic damage. So cold. <laughs> that will hit. Then be Tonus go with Johnny on deck. Okay. 
Oh, where'd my mouse go? There we go. I'm gonna open this door. Ah! <laughs> you open up into a courtyard. Um, you can see sort of a forge on the south side and a couple ghouls. I'm gonna smack at this one here. Oh, first thing, do I recognize the runes? Uh, yes, they are uh, in the language of the giants. Can I, what, okay. Uh, How many do they have on them? They seem to more or less covered all of their flesh. Oh, but... gotcha, okay, so, okay, understood. Uh, yeah, yeah this probably I... isn't too, too, uh, you, you might recognize this. Uh, notice one, um, uh, is that of the Cloud Giants, and another is a, the second one. Yeah, that's kind of what I was concerned about. If fine. it's what I think it is, I don't know Hill or Storm. And, uh, Hill. Okay, so I don't recognize the Hill one. Right. So, the cloud one I do know though. Um, if it's what I think it is. <sighs> Only one way to find out. I want it on the record that I know nothing about runes and all of this is very concerning. Yeah, right? <laughs> okay. So, Tony steps out. make them have a sleight of hand check. <laughs> What? Uh, if it's the Rune Knight thing, or the, sorry, not the Rune Knight, the, the Cloud Knight thing, Cloud Giant thing, then they have advantage on uh, sleight of hand checks. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Do they look particularly adept at magic tricks? I I haven't looked at their hands very extensively. <laughs> they might also... Let me see. Second, is it? In addition, sorry, I'm reading something here. Oh, yep, okay. Um, we'll see how this plays out, but this could be very funny. Uh, I'm just gonna. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah, I'll I'll hit him. Okay. With regular Sturm. <laughs> Is that what we were trying to get to? I was like, what has even going on? I've totally lost track. The cloud, the cloud runes are fun. Uh, I'm. I'll leave it at that. I'm even more concerned. I didn't think I could be, but I am. <laughs> okay. Uh, you uh, strike at the ghoul. What an eighteen hit tonist. Yep. Okay. It's exactly what I thought it was. Yes, an eighteen would hit tonist. Okay, uh, so the strike seems to rebound and strike Tonist instead. Do I see one of the runes darken? Yes. Yep, got it. Understood. Oh. Omega the human knows what the hill giant thing does, but Tonist the artificer <laughs> doesn't. Um, oh my goodness. Well, this is going to be fun. <laughs> I will just how much can I, how much can I relay as an action, or how much can I relay in like? I think talking is free, like a, isn't it? Like a sent, like a sentence or two. Oh. Um, what what did your cloud giant rune look like? Is it like a cloud? No, I, is, I just, I just did like a doodle that looks kind of runic. Um, I don't know, like old Viking runes type thing. Yeah, I know. But is is the cloud one easily describable in a sentence? Sure. Okay. The insert blurb of cloud rune description here: runes let them redirect attacks against another a certain distance of itself, oh. but only once per rune. Okay. Oh. Wait, question. 
Oh, no, because if I didn't inf if applied disadvantage on the hit, that would be after it had used the effect, so it wouldn't matter. Would it? No, it wouldn't. Interesting. Okay. Um... Interesting. Oh. The the circle with the squiggle in the two lines. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Ooh, that looks cool. Oh, the charge on Dig my it. battery. Nice. 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 Oh my god. Alright, so yeah, uh Tonus relays that and then does he take another attack? Um... No. Well, uh, can I see you how, how many were... You, you, don't see another, you, don't, you don't see another such rune on this ghoul. At least if that's one the that's case, going. then yes. Okay. But I, I know what the other rune does. So <laughs> what Tonus does, and so I would attack again if I didn't see another rune. Okay. The 14 even hits. Uh, 14 does not. Okay. Alright. That brings well, Liger, us... Liger has an attack as well, though. So. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Liger finished. This will be funny to... to roll. Yeah, that I think hits. 23 hits. Yep. Alright. Do Liger. I see any of its... Oh, that's... Oh, okay, never mind. Yes, go ahead. And then it is Johnny's go. Okay. Uh, Johnny is going to come out like the Kool-Aid man. Uh, okay. Right past Liger. Oh, look. There's a there's a thing right here. I'm not. Uh, okay, I just want to make sure I wasn't standing on top of Tonist. <laughs> No. Because that that'd be that'd be rude. Yeah, typically. All right, uh, we're gonna go ahead and <clears throat> swing at this guy with the radiant mace of undead slang that I said I had pulled out earlier. Okay. Um, <laughs> no advantage from where from the, the current position, right? Correct. Okay, just checking. Well, that's not going to hit. No, nope, that does not. Has this been played prior to me becoming a rune knight or because I became a rune knight? <laughs> what? The runes they're using are the new, are part of my multi-class subclass. Huh. Oh. Cool. And Johnny's, Johnny's going to utter a verbal nasty as he misses. <laughs> Nasty from the pack now. Uh, the ghoul surges for forward and claws at Valis. Oh. Oh, no. That's Bro. less than exemplary. Okay. Uh, we'll just roll off that guy. Ugh. Do Jacob, do they just have double damage or uh, poison resistance? Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. Do they just have po uh, ghouls? Undead typically are immune to poison. Just up, the, just for being undead. Yeah, the secondary feature of the hill rune is resistance to poison damage. Yes, I am aware. <laughs> uh, you watch as the one that's that ran out from the the tunnel. Um, he had a, a a rune that sort of darkens and a greenish sheen uh, covers his body. One steps up behind Johnny and swings at him. And I am flanked. Liger inflicts this uh, disadvantage on... So I guess just that one's just a straight roll. That one misses. Uh, seeing what just happened, it turns and claws at Liger. After that. I can redirect the attack at Tonist. Okay, do you? Um, no. <laughs> well, yeah. Sorry, I do. Okay, 23 hits Tonist for... 10 slashing. Did you do the... Oh, 10. Okay, 10. Gotcha. And 
then the other one claws at. Oh, what have I done? Oh, I, I, made, I set my health to 10, not subtracted 10. Yeah, that's not good. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tonus faints. Um, there we go. How about that? Fair. Okay. And then we'll swing once more. Uh, that doesn't hit Johnny. Nope. It is now Ambrose's go. Bruce is going to not with the measuring tape. There we go. <laughs> um. Oh, by the way, I noticed. Uh, I just scrolled up earlier in the chat. I I noticed that y'all peeps got a long rest. Did Ambrose also get that? Of course. Yeah. Make sure to get that. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna just pop that real quick. And then what he did with nice. uh, Valus and the bivouac. I wasn't gonna say oh. that, but since you brought it up. <laughs> That's okay. just a camping term, right? They just didn't have any cover up. Uh -huh, sure. Uh -huh. yes. I don't know what that word means, so... It depends on what he did with him. Doesn't it just yes. basically mean, like, uh, pitch a tent? Anyway. The oh, tents were pitched. <laughs> tents, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Family show, guys. Family yeah. show. There we go. Family show. So entertainment. Not, not a how to make a family show. Says says Twitch and all guys <laughs> hopefully not banned Twitch account. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, wow. yeah, the the one that ran out and slashed at <clears throat> Valus, uh, Ambrose will fire off an Eldritch Blast. Kaboom. Hey, ghoul is uninjured. But... Yeah, I'm just still trying to fix some stuff from before. Okay. Okay. Uh, that will definitely... Oh, you know what? Um, Would a 28 hit Rana? What? Oh. Son of a bitch! <laughs> yeah, you watch as the... No, 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 take backsies. Take that. Uh, you yeah, watch he's... as the Eldritch Blast streaks out towards the ghoul and then for some reason uh, veers into Rana. Oh, uh, okay. This oh, crap? I thought you were hit... Okay. Does does her protection against lightning have any effect on this? Uh, it's force oh, damage. Though. No. Uh, well, oh, yes, at twenty eight hits Rana. <laughs> All right, roll them bones for damage. Ooh, this is unfortunate. Okay, not Seven. that unfortunate. That's a relatively low roll. Yeah, right. Anyone. Watch as uh, the rune that Tonus described, circle with squiggle. Uh, it fades out from once I uh, was glowing, and now it is darkened. Ow. Oh, but I just remembered Rana's, Rana's movement speed is also minus 10. Okay. Lance of lethargy. Wait, for how long? Lance of lethargy. Just around. Around, okay. Just around, that's yeah. fine. I don't... Okay, yeah. that's... I can deal with that. Okay. Uh, you get two more attacks with that Eldritch Blast. <laughs> yeah. If you want so, to take them. I would have shot at that ghoul. Is uh, did I notice one of the one of the runes went dark after that? Yes. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna try shooting at him again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Same guy. That oh. will miss. With my last one, I'm actually going to fire at this one over by Johnny and Tempest. Can you see okay. that one? Yeah. Yeah, just, wow. just wow. barely through the okay. through the door. I uh, I was raised in a cave. I got good vision. Yeah, yeah. Good that will vision. hit. Will it? Yeah, it hits. Mm, I don't think that one's been hit yet, has it? There she is. Yachts. All right, thirteen damage, and I uh, shove it back by ten feet. Thank you. Do you think that one still has the rune? But maybe I'm mistaken. It does. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's just not. Okay, I got. It. Uh, and, that... Uh, that is Ambrose's turn. That brings us to Althea. <clears throat> All alone and, in the and house. 
how many who's who's fighting what where because I can see two of them. Yeah, there's fighting to the left, fighting to the right, and there you are stuck in the middle. There uh, is. Um, in the middle with you. Yes. Yeah. Stuck in the middle with you. There's right. fighting out um, in the courtyard as well as in front of the building. Come out here. And going to. Oh, nice. Let's go. Okay. Uh, you're not getting advantage from anything. Um, Valis does not have a melee weapon. Oh. Oh, I thought he had Looks his like little knife. Force. Looks like Forge froze on me. But good news is that 20 was the first die rolled, so yes, it's it still a crit. I'm going to reload okay. this page because it has stalled on me. Because that always works. It does seem to, to work. Oh, and I, nice. forgot to, I forgot to target it. So specifically so on my Sorry. end with my with my Garbo Woods internet, sometimes reloading only makes it worse. Yeah, he's oh. the DM though. He's hosting. It's always best for him. Oh yeah. True. Weird. I can't do it. Awesome. Oh my God, that's damage. Damn. Okay. Yeah, she she went ham on it. <laughs> she she be hitting him. I see no damage. That's not ideal. Uh oh. I also for some reason cannot place a target on him, but no, yeah, you don't need to worry about. It says targeting. twenty-seven damage, Jacob. Okay. <clears throat> Slashing and radiant. I don't know how it's Davy Dot. Side all on its own. Reloading it didn't seem to do much. I'm, I'm waiting on you before I attack again. You can Is go that ahead. the one that would change the green? Yes. Yes, okay. Okay, yeah, so we... Attack again. Normal, not advantage. 18 hits, uh, yes? It's... Yep. Not and... bad. Thir Thirty-eight points of damage and two hits. That'll bring us to Rana. It's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Wait. And you said this is it's the so one sheathed stupid. in green. Yeah. Does it look like acid? No. Okay, then I'll shoot it. That will hit. Okay. Is it still up? It is. It is badly injured, but in orange. That also hits. And He's near redeath. Near redeath. Mm -hmm. That will bring us to Valis. Gonna put a couple more bolts into it once he backs up. He'll just attack at disadvantage instead of that. I'll take the attack opportunity. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and that brings us to Rowan with Tonist on deck. Shoot here. And. Eh, let's go tilt touch again. Uh, on the close one? Yeah. Okay, that'll hit. And he falls to the ground. Dead. Excellent. Let's go. Does the glow go away, or does it stay? Yes, the sheen does uh, disappear. It is now <clears throat> Tonus go with Johnny on deck. Is this... um? Fire pit lit, or is it just like the remnants? No, of it's, just, it's just the, the remnants. Good the art asset had to be lit, and there's no way to change that. Oh. Do, 
do, do, do. Swing the hammer at the dude. Never mind, that's two ones. Is that two ones? Whoa. That is two ones. Good heavens. Oh no. Well, uh, let's do it again. <laughs> but but yeah. better to get it out of your system in one go? That's a little better. That's better. That's what you get. Don't for buy any lottery tickets anytime session. soon. I need to buy two lottery tickets, go. That one hits. And Liger will also attack. So that brings us to Johnny. All right. Uh, uh, flanking with the one between the two of you, and of course the other one has been pushed away. Okay, we're gonna go with the uh, radiant mace again. Okay. At advantage because fun. That one Hit. hits. Versal damage. Yes. Okay, just checking. And divine strike. Because reasons. Is that uh, vers versatile as well? Uh, it should just be. Why would you get? No, you're not 14th level, so just the regular. Okay, thank you. Okay. Good hits. They will go. Um... Good solid bell ringing. Yes. <laughs> You again! Uh, one moves up behind Johnny Green and Marble. tries to give him some fun claw attacks. Mm -hmm. 23. That, that will actually hit. Okay. Claws Johnny for 17. Which one did that? Is that the one from behind? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then one more time. Gosh. Dude! Ooh. Can't help with that one. Oh, man. And the second one, Jeez. the second attack crits for just 17 again. So 34 and two shots, okay. Yeah, not too bad. Not too uh, bad. And then the one next to Tonist will bonus action to give himself a sort of gray sheen and then attack Tonist. Oh, it's di oh. different. Oh, that says and. I misread. You know what? Uh, retcon that gray green sheen to a gray one. They're all gray. Um, does Tonist uh, impose disadvantage on the attack? Uh, Liger will, yeah. Well, yeah, Liger. Okay. All right. Hey. He does not like that, so he turns and tries to give Johnny the business. That will no, not happen. All right. Bringing us to Ambrose with Althea on deck. Okay. Okay, that one's dead. This is gonna hop. Oh, I see where your confusion came from. I know. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> oh, there's two of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it is hmm. okay. Yeah, Ambrose uh, sort of jogs into the house, and he's gonna start firing Elder's blast at this fella. All right. That one will miss. Unfortunate. Let's try again. That one hits. Oh. Shove them on back. Good ten feet. And last one. Okay. Uh, would a twenty-eight hit Johnny? Son of a bitch. I thought they. Were, I thought they was done with that. <laughs> yes. Okay. So that second. Uh, blast as it streaks towards the ghoul instead hits Johnny. He watches the that same sort of rune fades away on, on this guy. Um, deals 10 points of force damage to Johnny, and Johnny's pushed 10 feet. Or 
Okay. D does this last? The twenty-five attack? hits. Yeah. Hmm. Roll still stand. Yeah. You can roll damage. Image. Sorry, I might like, cut out a little bit there. Ah, oh, you should have done it to that one. <laughs> Uh, do you want to push him? Yes, please. Oh no, I can't see him anymore. Oh, and uh... now, since it came back around to my turn, now Rana, I believe now Rana has normal movement Four. back. Yeah. Yep, that's correct. But now Johnny has minus ten feet of movement, so that's rough. We're kind of <laughs> just trading around here. <laughs> I'll Thea's go. Um, let's see, Althea will move up to here, because that's the limit, and I'll a javelin at this one. Okay. Nice hit. Pin cushion time. Ooh, nice. Uh, yep, that hits. Uh, I seems resistant to piercing damage. Oh, is this the one with the gray sheen? Yes. Aha. Mm. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, I th think that's it for me because I don't think I can do a second attack with ranged. Should be able to. Let's see why you wouldn't. Oh, okay. As long as it's not like a reloading weapon. Oh. Okay. Just bring another three change your golf bag. Yeah. Also, I think Johnny needs to make three concentration checks for uh, protection from elements. Uh, okay. Um, okay, so uh, <sighs> then I, I will remove my target from him. Target him. And okay. javelin again. That also hits. And six damage. Okay, it's a good hit. He is not protected by any sort of sheen. And it brings us to Rana. Oh, yeah, so I think that on that last one, you lose the protection spell. Okay. Dashing all the way up. Yep, there we are. Shooting this one. Using your bonus action to dash. Yep. Smart. That's the good good one to do. That'll hit. Why? There we go. That's a little better. Alright. Okay. And then one more. Mm. Also hits. Oh, okay. And then All right. one more. Yep. That's pretty bad off bringing us to... One, two, three, four, five, six... Say he's rejoined any of us. Um, can you see anyone? Yes. Far as at the ghoul here, and then it's Rowan's turn. Okay. Uh, Rowan will mind sliver that same ghoul. But just got attacked. Crossbow. Um, oh, this one? Yeah, that one. And we're on a little step over here. Ten second. Okay. Runic ghoul. He, yeah. That's it. He, he runes. Fowlers. Okay, and that burst. I rune, you rune. We all we rune. We rune. Ice rune. <laughs> um, it is Tonus go with Johnny on deck. I'm going to dismount Liger. I can, yeah, they're gonna boop, boop, um, and smack with my hammer. Nice. Make sure you got your old advantage. Yep. That'll hit. Okay. Seems to not take as much damage from the bludgeon. Yep. <laughs> but I also seem to have erased his health. Probably in that ish range. <laughs> I don't know what it was, sadly. 
that's, that's, I think that's to your guys' benefit. So that looks like more damage than it should be. Uh, so eight, uh, nine, okay. That also hits. That's what nine. If I'm mathing right. Uh, okay, if he's still up, then I'll have Liger attack as well. Yep, bear. He is still up. Liger's damage is all force. It is all that force, is... which I'm thankful for. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Hey, just enough. Good and then you know, remaining movement to get back on. <laughs> all right, Johnny's go. Oh, and move a little bit more. Fair. And gonna smack him. Just like the Jedi. Yes, just like the Jedi, what? I'm gonna smack him. I uh, remember your speed was reduced by 10. That uh, was 20. I th that was less than 20, I that think. Was that was 15. Uh, with plate with mail, here, I think, you so should be two. at 25. No, plate reduces by 10 feet. Because your strength isn't high enough. My my movement should... Uh, fine, whatever. Because no, your strength... you For plate mail, you need strength of... What was it, 15? Uh, or my your movement... speed is reduced by 10. Okay, because my movement shows... On my character sheet, shows 30. So I need to adjust that down to 20, I guess. Yeah. All right, no worries. I mean, you That's can take it to him, so it's no no issue here. I just okay, uh, no, no, absolutely cool. Uh, so we're there and uh, uh, smack him. That'll hit. And the divine strike. Nope, wrong one. That was not what I wanted to do. Try that again. He there we go. Dead. I did it. I did what Omega did a little while ago. Oh. I accidentally said it. Well, too. that was lame as hell. Okay, I'm done. Ooh, that looks like too much hell. Maybe it was a... That looks about right. Okay. Uh, minus nine. Oh, it's all bludgeoning. One rating. Well, not the rating. Yeah. Okay. All right, so the ghoul, seeing its companion fall, looks around warily and seems to grow in... Yep. <laughs> yep. No. God. Is that... Wait. He's a fucking Power wait. Rangers villain? Why did he <laughs> huge? Because he's cool. That's and... amazing. <laughs> Is he a level twenty rune knight? Nah, he's just he's just a cool dude. He has cool dude abilities. <laughs> cool dude abilities. And he lashes out at Johnny once. Of course he does. And misses. And once oh, yeah. at uh, Tonus, oh, which I assume will be forced into disadvantage. Will indeed be forced into disadvantage. Does I not hit. Do now, and that'll bring us to Ambrose with Althea on deck. Right, level I have 10. a whole thing I was planning to do, and this is really throwing a wrench into the works. Um, <laughs> Glad to be of service. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, this no, big guy mind slivered out of curiosity. He no, it was, was the other guy. No, the other one was mind slivered. Oh, yeah. it was the other guy. Okay. Um, you know what? I haven't got to use this a lot and let's let's use it on a big man uh ambrose ambrose's tattoos crackle with magical eldritch energy and this guy is about to lose his blood privileges casts urrath's eviction oh, need me that constitution save all right and other fluids oh, oh. oh my god oh god wow Oh, that's horrific! 
Damn. Johnny gets a bloodbath. That con and other Look at that expect. plus to the con save. Eight. Jesus. Do ghouls have that is very lucky. blood and fluids? I thought there were like husks. Eh, this one seems to. Probably some in there. <laughs> it's juicy. Oh god, oh god. Oh. So 10 d six damage. Oh, this blood blood elemental. There we go. Hey. Yeah, he's dead. And I need a. Okay. It's also Blood a one d three. Yes, spurt and uh, just gets squeezed out of the the ghoul, and it falls to the ground. Uh, also, once more, become shrinking down in size. In its place stands this elemental form of blood shifting and sh undulating and oh well it says if the target dies the elemental receives damage equivalent to its current hit point total and then it bursts into a blood pool and dies Ooh. you were correct but it was there for a moment yeah it got to, uh, it's got to no existence oh god <laughs> the barest okay. moment of, of but... time but but Ambrose just took th three points of psychic damage. Yeah, he's that got a migraine. Sucks. Yeah, I think it was worth it. Yeah, uh, you know, turns out having the power to instantly make anybody uh, just make all of their blood not in their body anymore—it's it, not exactly like pleasant on the psyche. Being able to do that. Wow. Go go and, blood and, fountain. And... And I assume we're not going to hang out and and like cry the gems out of these things' bodies right now. Wouldn't recommend it. No. In fact, I'm Probably assuming Rana can still tell that there are undead over here. Uh, second floor, but yes. Okay. Um, so she'll tell the party to stay on alert because there's undead on the second floor over there. Uh. Um, but then after she says that, she waits. She's gonna heal Johnny. Johnny's all, all about the business, but okay. Yeah, he, she says, wait. Um, and then the bell rings, and she utters just a single word. And even though, um, like, with, you know, for whatever reason, you guys can all understand whatever language she's saying, we can't understand this one. Um, but when she says the word, it vibrates, and it sounds like the bells, the same pitch of the bell starts to like vibrate throughout the building um and then johnny heals one two three plus what's my wisdom cool um, where's my wisdom plus three so oh, oh well seven there. damage or seven hit points oh, thank a little, you um yeah. underwhelming a little underwhelming but yeah <laughs> i did feel a lot of build up that it it yeah. it whatever <laughs> i'm gonna be like hey, okay that door is open now um uh, th yeah there was supposed to be an open door there in the first place but i've yeah. never put the door there uh th there's a door leading out into a garden area you can see uh it's overgrown with weeds and whatnot but oh, i think there. he's talking about the one that i just opened Oh, I don't know. Oh, just that one. Yes, there's a there's a large door um, that leads to the workshop. It uh, is from the floor to the second floor of the building. Um, opens up into this workspace. There's a large statue that is partially sculpted out of a block of granite. You can see uh, tools and um, uh, like crafting supplies sort of strewn about. Uh, there's a, a level of disarray just because of how Ignore me. old it is. Um, on one side of the, the room, there are tables with um, sort of plans that have been laid out. Uh, they, If touched, they'll crumble under the... Um, they'll crumble with their, their own age, having disintegrated over time. Are there any storage bins with like 
craft you said crafting materials like any precious metals um so a total, total of 12 instead of 7 yes so yeah five. that's better thank you mm -hmm. these ghouls are being empowered either through their own abilities or through someone else with uh, giant magic not in yeah you don't find any like metal I assume that's what you were looking for. Yes. Um, there are stacks of wood against one wall. Um, but, yeah, you don't find any supplies like that. Okay. I'm gonna head, then Johnny's going to head over to this staircase. Okay. Ronnie, you said second floor, right? Yes, there are undead on the second floor. Let's go no. say oh, hello. Oh, Johnny. Oh, oh man. Really? What? Oh, uh, Johnny will take an opportunity. Johnny will take an opportunity here to use one charge of his ring of healing, and will heal another eight points, bringing me up to eighty-five. Yeah, there. see, he's barely injured. See, mm. tis but a scratch. Right, you want to let me? Go? No, he oh, he's gone. Finished it. <sighs> Oh, I gosh. said I was already. Upstairs. Initiative already. Okay. Oh, I'm not. I'm not on the tracker. Rip. You, everyone, sh Ooh. oh nope that. The initiative reason. tracker is freaking out for me. Whoa! I'm trying was to add. Was on the tracker. Oh, okay. All right, there it goes. Being added. Uh, there we go. Man, that doesn't look right. Oh, I guess it is right. Okay, so it looks like the only one that's not on is Althea, but I think that was she rolled. Yeah, she I did. Really I good. rolled early. Ten point one. Okay, I'll roll it again and then just adjust it to its proper. Okay, so presumably uh, Rana's go, yeah, as mm -hmm. normal. Johnny gets up to the second floor and uh, spots a couple uh, more of these ghouls that are covered in scar tissue and runes, some of which glow. Glow. I do. I think you know, too. And it is Rana's go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm checking things, sorry. 5, 10, 15, 20. Hello. Rough terrain getting past the two of us on a staircase? Oh, that's a good question, actually. Can I not? I probably can't. There's a second uh, staircase. You can always move through. That one goes down. You can always move through allies if they let you. <laughs> That's a good question. So I guess if, she'll get. If we let you. Yeah, yeah. So she'll get here and try to move through. <laughs> For... <laughs> I'll are, fail. Are you Did you go so... really? I'll be right back. I'm just gonna take a couple pot shots. Uh... Johnny gives her the stink eye. Really. Really, 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 really. I'll be okay. So she shoots that one. Okay. <sighs> Maybe? Are these the only two? Those are the only two that Rana can see, or sense. Okay. Alright. Oh, Interesting, yeah. Uh, quick mm -hmm. question. Would a 25 yes. hit Rana? Yes, it would. Oh, you should roll damage. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. So, the arrow seems to swerve back and strike Rana. Uh, one of the runes on that wall fades. Ow. It takes 12 acid. <laughs> Ow! Alizon, you're really enjoying this man. I'll shoot it again. This is my favorite. Never game. mind. Have fun, you guys. But yes, you are. Jo Johnny looks at it and says, I told you. 
Well, now you don't have to worry about it bouncing back on you. So there. Except watch out for the other one. <laughs> I'll pull that out with Rowan on deck. Let me pull that arrow out for you. <laughs> what? It was more of an acid splash. Rowan's uh, got goo arrows. Hang on. So who's up? Because I thought Valus was next. He already he moved up next to Ambrose and stuff. Oh, okay. Johnny, may I? Sure, you're armored. Have fun. Okay. Aha, there we go. Um. Right. So, I don't know which one she the shot one, at, but one, I'm going uh, to... The, the, one, the one south of me. Yeah, this one does not yeah. have that rune that um, Tonus pointed out to everyone. Alright, so... Does it have a different one? This is just weird. Yeah, I mean, they, they all have, like, you, um, if you had inspected the bodies of the other ghouls, you, you would see that same rune, but imperfectly carved into its body. Um, so these all, they... Ooh! I was attempting to get to that point, but people just pushed forward, so. That's, so that's... I was wanting to yeah. inspect the bodies. But... Uh, quick question, would a crit hit Althea? I yeah. thought so, that one's rune was gone. It is, but this one enacts the same magic and forces the attack oh, to spring back. That is back so Althea, not okay. Dealing 16 points of damage. I think Althea is resistant to Radiant, right? So it's only going to be 12 points of damage. 16 on that roll Wait is a minute. low. Yeah. Six oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so it's going to be 12 instead. Yeah. So that's actually... Not too bad for a crit. Um, but now this one's uh, frost, or whatever, uh, cloud cloud giant rune is um, dimmed out. Yeah. I think she, yeah. Althea has to make a concentration check for her protection from energy now. Uh, I did think about taking that rune and then decided it wasn't good enough. Here we are! <laughs> uh, con Wait, concentration check? Constitution check. Constitution. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I gotta say, for a player, maybe it, it isn't that great, but for NPCs, yeah, they're, for, it's amazing. For a player, that... it's once per long rest, so. Yeah. I'm sorry, is that ability check or saving throw? Saving throw. Ow. Huh. Okay. Double crit? Um, All the way across yeah. the sky? So she's good on her protection, so. Okay. Which is, so, so that is still on Rana. Mm -hmm. Um, and let's try hitting this guy one more time. Mm -hmm. That will hit. And that brings us to Rowan with Johnny on deck. Uh, Rowan's gonna stay down here for now. Okay, Johnny's go. Johnny is going to move here so that Althea cannot be flanked. Then he's going to use uh, Toll the Dead on this one here, on, on the one that Althea has been beating on. Right, yeah. At once. Ish. Uh, ish. Uh, it's been damaged, yeah? Correct. Okay, I need a, a DC 17 Wisdom. That, Ooh, will, not, that, that will not work. Take that. The necrosis takes off quite a bit of its health. And that's me. Okay. They move forward, or one moves forward. Um, they both attack Althea twice. Miss. And last attack. Also Miss. Bringing us to Ambrose. Alright. Ambrose going to head upstairs because I don't know what's happening. Ooh. Hey, buddy. Welcome to the party. Hey, uh... Oh, boy. He's like right there, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, they shouldn't be able to redirect I'm anymore. Going to. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I'm going to... Uh, uh, didn't realize he'd be standing, like, right there. Uh, oh, you know what? An old classic. And Ambrose could be topped off. Uh, upon seeing this ghoul, like, right next to him, Ambrose, uh, his hand is enwreathed in black, gooey energy, and he throws a vampiric grasp at him. All right. Black, gooey energy. That will hit. Oof. Here we go. Nice. Does not want, but takes. <laughs> Wait, what? That Let's was... go. Oh, uh, what? Rana was just That's sorry. Her copy yeah. Richard check from earlier. Oh. Okay, and that brings us to Tonus. It looks like. Uh, yeah. I will attempt to, uh... Oh, interesting. Hello, friends. <laughs> How many moves did I just make? Was that... Wait, one, two, three, four... You go like that? Five, okay. Yeah, that's plenty. Or you have plenty of moves. I'm gonna smack... Have they both used their runes? Oh, can I see the... Any glowing cloud runes on these two? None that are visible. None that are visible. I was wondering if you put some on, like, in the bottom of their okay. feet or something, but... Right, yeah. <laughs> I'll try my luck and smack him. Or, oh, it hasn't been... It has been their turn. Have they... Are they glowing? Or are they... They're not sheathed yet, no. Gotcha. That will hit. Hey. 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 Okay. They're badly damaged. And Ligers go. That also it I love that hit the description of that attack is in is highlighted. That's so great. The what the force? Yeah, that it's or like the... melee weapon attack and it's all highlighted in the that white background. oh yeah i don't know why that is i think it's part of the copy and paste process it yeah. was yeah it was pasted in like was it rich text or something like that Ugh. rich text you gotta like control shift you know. paste yeah mm -hmm. uh, Just, uh, control shift text. Text. Ooh, yeah. that'll bring us back to rana it's a lot to doing all it right being One, 10, uh, 15, a sad ghoul. 20 will you let me through Ambrose? Oh, he, yeah, he is right there. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> okay. Have to pay the toll. <laughs> that will hit. 10, okay. 17. Alright. Ooh. He's got the magic touch. What a jerk. That hits. Oh, you bastard. And he is plus deaded. Plus dead. Hooray, plus dead. I was eating that. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't kind of, see. You, you it would have given no, you indigestion. <laughs> give Ambrose a weird look, dude. I think that is actually a weird thing with vampiric grasp. As I've never actually gotten to use it like this, but as I read it from the spell description, I think if I hit my first time, I can just like keep draining him on subsequent turns. Is that turns, how that yep. works? That's true. You like which believe uh, you can. Ooh. Valis pumps a couple shots into this school. Jeff, are you familiar with Witch Bolt? Which one? No. Uh, it is that was my uh, band in high school. <laughs> nice. With the long range version one. of the same thing that doesn't heal you, but it's like mm. consistent damage every turn. You have to make that first hit, though. You have to make the first hit ah. after that. That's not what I want. I like it. I've, well, with Witch Bolt, if you miss, the spell's just gone. Vampiric Touch, it, uh, yeah. the way I'm reading it is you just get to make a, an attack on each of your turns. And 
they don't necessarily have to be against the same target and the first mm -hmm. one doesn't oh yeah you're right that doesn't know because Valus isn't there so it doesn't necessarily give me flanking but I'm gonna move. no and Valus I'm, I'm, I'm moving spell. where where it is giving me flanking uh, or not sorry I'm moving where I can give somebody else flanking if that is needful yeah. at all anyway <laughs> all um, right. That will hit. And 11. No. Oh. Okay. That also hits. He is near death, and it is Rowan's go with Johnny on deck. I have a feeling that the ghoul will not have another turn. Make it so. It's very crowded. Yeah! <laughs> it is very crowded up here, yes. That's part uh, of why I moved. Uh, Rowan will just mind sliver it. Oh, could I have just peeked my head up through this gap here? Just? Just my... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, looks like just... he saves. Oh! oh. Yeah. Johnny's good. I will step forward. Did you ask about this gap? Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I for I didn't describe the bottom room properly, and I didn't want to, um, like change anything. Or I just wanted to finish this out, and then. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I that. Okay. But yeah. you're right. There is a floor. To, there is like a hole there, and it goes floor to ceiling, and that hits. And kills. Huzzah! Because you'll get at least one point of damage from Divine Strike. And it had 15. Oh. <laughs> right. Dang, so, I, so I should have used Divine Smite because I would have killed it. Ah, well. Maybe, yeah. It's all um, good. Okay. So this room is a sort of upper workshop. Um, I forgot to really describe this properly. There is a hole in the, the floor and there was... You know, not whole. There's an opening in the floor for the statue, statue. Um, and like larger works so that they can be worked to top and bottom. There's scaffolding and sort of harnesses and things that um, can be used to you know, get to different parts of a project without endangering the workmen. Um, okay, so we're kind of like on a balcony above that first room. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. And my thought was. My, I, I, I had originally thought, oh, a ghoul could just drop in on the others, and we like that'd be messed up because I've neglected to describe that part. And and we like there was a hole in the ceiling. Like, <laughs> oh, oops! None of us looked out. <laughs> right? Yeah. Really, just whiffed on your perception checks. Uh, the <laughs> the death seer floats on up. It's like, oh hey, and floats over. Broke it uh, out here. Uh. Um, Johnny is gonna... are pretty much at time, so we'll stop okay. there. Okay, cool. Wait, where'd Althea go? Uh, just a question uh, yeah. for out okay. of out of out of combat. Uh, Johnny's gonna do the same thing. Look around for crafting materials, specifically metals. Right. Yep. Fair enough. Um, a lot of the, the chests. The, yeah, the the workshops have been. It looks as though they've been rifled through and, and gone through quite a bit. Um. So, uh, but I will post what you find into discord thank you sir i need to jet so okay take it easy thanks yep. for the uh, great time tonight have a good one Before i forget you yeah, i'll i'll message you never mind thank you, oh, you. thanks everybody Yay. talk to you next Real time quick uh bye bye, bye guys